Apples themselves are great, but it's not because of the juice in them, but rather, perhaps, primarily what's found in the peel. Within the last year, half a dozen studies have touted the benefits of apple peels. For example, this one in the Journal of Nutrition and Cancer, the anti-proliferative effects of apple peel extract against cancer cells. We know the more apples we eat, the lower our apparent risk of several cancers. The peels are the really good part, yet are often discarded. For example, apple peels a waste product of dried apple manufacturing. In one little country, Chile, they throw away 9,000 tons of apple peels a year. It's like 20 million pounds. What a tragedy. So these researchers decided to see what we're missing. Here are two cell lines of human prostate cancer and two of human breast cancer, growing merrily away in petri dishes. They're the little black dots you see. They're blissfully unaware that researchers at the University of Wisconsin were at Whole Foods buying some organic gala apples. The peels were thrown in a blender, and a tiny bit dripped on the unsuspecting cancer cells, and then a bit more and a little more, and as you can see by the end, neither the prostate nor breast cancer cells were very happy about it. Now, this ain't chemo, this is just apple peels. How do they work? Well, to obtain a clue regarding the mechanism that determine the effect of apple peels on the tumor suppressor protein, maspin, uh, inside the cancer cells. Maspin is a tumor suppressor gene that has been shown to have tumor suppressor, anti-angiogenic, anti-metastatic properties in both breast and prostate cancer cells. The tumor cells found a way to turn this tumor suppressor gene off, and apple peels apparently turned it back on. An upregulation of this tumor suppressor gene as you add more and more of the apple peel extract to each of the cancer types. They conclude apple peels may possess strong anti-proliferative effects against cancer cells, and they should not be discarded from the diet.